This is Matt Crawford and this is a video on using the Add Inserter WordPress plugin. So there's lots of different ways to use Add Inserter. If we click on Add Inserter here and just have a look. Uh, so lots of people use it as an ad manager to sort of manage the AdSense ads. Uh, you can do all sorts with Add Inserter. What I actually use it for, my preferred use case, is I actually create my own ads uh, using Canva and I actually use Add Inserter to insert them at random points throughout all of my WordPress posts, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. Uh, I've got over 4,000 posts just on uh, this site alone, uh, so it's actually um, it, it, I actually needed something. I need, needed a plugin that could do this at scale so I didn't have to go in and sort of change all of these ads all the time. Uh, Add Inserter just randomly inserts them. Well, not so randomly as you'll see in a minute, but yeah, so I'll get into that bit in a minute. I'll show you. In fact, I'll show you now, so you can actually, so you can actually see. So, if we look at, I've got this random post here on British, uh, the best British movers of all time. So if we come down, uh, you can see what I mean here. So uh, this is just a normal part of the site, and then we've got this right here. So this is an ad that has been inserted at a certain number of paragraphs, and I'll show you that in just a minute how I do those settings, but. I've got this graphic here that I created in Canva. Uh, this is actually a link, uh, so you click this and it actually goes through to uh, to a uh, an opt-in page. Uh, and if you come down here, if we go down, so this one actually links to a sales page. Uh, so when the user clicks that, so again, that's a graphic that I've designed and actually had inserted by Ad Inserter. And if we come all the way down even further, there's another one there, a different one here. So how am I doing this? So add inserter, we're gonna go through the settings in a minute. So I've got the settings open just here. But if you want add inserter, you're going to come over to plugins here. You're going to click on add new plugin. And all you're going to do is search for add inserter. So once you've searched for add inserter, you'll get this right here. So you can see I already have the plugin. It's actually asking for an update right now, which I'll do in just a second. Uh, but yeah, so general information, for add inserter, I've, uh, you can obviously read uh, the information here and then you can install the plugin when you're ready and then activate it. And once you have it activated, what you're going to be presented with is this kind of complicated looking screen here. So I've got a few extra options open here that you wouldn't ordinarily. Uh, we can actually um, open more different options here, but you don't need all of these options. You can just uh, use the basic uh, the basic stuff here. So uh, yeah, I'm randomly opening more stuff here. Uh, but yeah, so in general, I've got, I think it's five. Yeah, I've got five ads open right now. So all I've done here, uh, these different blocks at the top. So these are previous ads that aren't actually active on my site, but all of these blocks represent a different ad. So if you want to do what I'm doing and insert in those ads, like I showed you here, all you need to do is and you can copy the general idea. I'll give you this in the uh, the description. So this is just some simple code. It's just some simple HTML code which has been inserted. So this bit of code here adds a blank line and so does this down the bottom. And then all we're doing here is we're creating a pop-up effect. Uh, we are uh, listing some classes here for the image as far as how we want it to align uh, for align center right there. And then this bit of code here all that is is that is just the URL of the actual image so what you'll do is you'll add the images to your media library on WordPress and then you can just get the URL from there and insert it here and then this is just setting up the width and the height this piece of code here so super simple HTML I've actually got essentially the same piece of HTML on all of these uh, but we are just using a different URL here uh, depending on where you want if you want this to be something clickable that a user can go to. It doesn't have to be clickable. You could just have this as an image that you want to display throughout your site. And then each one has a different, of course, it has a different image that we're actually attaching, which, like I say, will be uploaded to your media library. So why would you want this? Uh, why would you want these? Well, I could create this graphic and then go into all of my posts and copy and paste it, or even just add it via the WordPress um, dashboard uh, via the post editor even. Uh, yeah, I could do that if I've got 4,000 posts. If, if you've got any more than sort of 20 posts, that's going to be a long, laborious process. And the good thing about this system is that 
If I decide to change that ad, say it was this ad right here, I can just uh, I can just choose to change the image. So if something on the ad changes, if I want to actually uh, change some of the text here or the images or, or what have you, rather than having to go into every single post on my WordPress site, all 4,000 of them, no less, I would have to go into all 4,000 posts and change that out manually and just change this image out manually. Instead, what we do with Ad Inserter is this is a centralized uh, block here that has been inserted into, like I say, into all of the posts. And all we need to do is just change, change out the image here. And that will continue to be on our site. So this is a really good system if you've got any kind of adverts that you want, any kind of ads that you want to be shown throughout your site. And like I say, there's lots of other use cases. This is just how I'm using it. So as far as setup, you can select posts here. You can put it on to pages as well if you want to have the ads appearing on pages on your WordPress site. And we can do we can do tag and archive pages, category pages, even on the home page, on the search pages, and so on. And so what I like to do is insertion. I come down to uh, after paragraph. You've of course got loads of options here. So you could have it before your post, uh, before certain content. Uh, you could have it before a certain paragraph or after like I've got here. And there's lo as you can see, there's loads of different things. We can have it just before the comments. So what I like to set is I like to select after paragraph and then I'll choose a paragraph number here that I think, think is reasonable. So if your article, an average article might have upwards of 200 paragraphs, maybe a longer article might have 500 paragraphs, particularly if you are using kind of good online etiquette as far as having short uh, snippy paragraphs that are no more than two sentences like I've got here. Um, and so, so yeah, I've got 90 for this one. Uh, for this particular advert, uh, this ad, I've got it after paragraph 15, so that's near the beginning. And then with ad inserter, we've got all these other options. So that is placement, so that's really important. So you want to have that selected. All of these other options you don't actually need to need to use. Uh, I've actually what I've done here with this p with this p tag here. Um, so I am. I think this is the best example. Yeah. So what I'm doing with this p tag is this is stopping the ads being put into. If I show you an example, um, I think you'll be able to see it on this page. Oh no, I haven't got it on this page. So. On a lot of my pages, I've got sort of green content boxes or blue content boxes that represent different kinds of information that I'm giving to the visitor. And I, because those are, uh, are created by HTML, it gets a little bit technical, but what was happening for a while is these ads were being randomly inserted into the content boxes, which just obviously looked horrible. It destroyed all the formatting and it just looked pretty bad for uh, for the user, for the visitor. So. Uh, yeah, I had to change that. So this essentially now stops. Um, that will only insert in between P tags, in between paragraph tags, rather than in the sort of raw HTML that you might have on your page. Now you might not have that on on your post on your pages. It might not even be an issue for you. Uh, I'm just saying that because that happened to be an issue for me. So again, add inserter. We've got all of these different ads. You can of course use my general settings here. Uh, and you can create your own ad. So if you've got any kind of situation on your site where you want to have opt-ins showing up, you want to turn them into pop-ups, or you want uh, a redirect to go and open on another uh, another tab on the browser, you can do that with Ad Inserter. And yeah, you can just insert these anywhere on your site, whether it's pages, posts, uh, whether you want them inserted after a certain number of paragraphs, or if you want them inserted right at the end of the content, just before the comments or something, you can do a lot with that insert. So I highly recommend it. I will include the links just below here if you need to have a look at anything. Uh, if you want to find Ad Inserter, you, you can do that on WordPress right now. You can just search Ad Inserter in the Add Plugins section, Add New Plugin, and you'll find it and you'll just install it and you'll activate it. Follow what I've done here. And you can have ads showing up automatically all on whatever posts you want them to be on, whatever pages you want them to be on. It's a super quick way of doing it rather than just manually going into each post uh, and clicking edit. And like I say, adding all of these separately. So if you make any changes, you can just change out the image here. You make some changes to the image 
change it in Canva, um, download it to um, your downloads, add it into WordPress using, like I say, the media here. So just add new media file, and then you're just gonna grab that URL and you're just gonna add it here. And follow all of these settings, you'll have beautiful ads showing up in your WordPress. I hope this has been helpful. Mm -hmm.